Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am Teeny Crochets and today I'll be showing you how to crochet Pac-Man and his adorable little ghosts. So get your crochet hooks at the ready and let's get going. To make Pac-Man and his ghosts you are going to need a couple of clip markers or stitch markers, embroidery needle and scissors, 3.5mm hook and a 3mm hook. Toy stuffing or polyfill and the colour of your choice in DK yarn. Now before we get going, don't forget to add your current crochet pattern to Instagram using the hashtag Teeny Crochets. I really do enjoy looking through them and I even share my favourite projects to my stories. So I'm going to begin by making the Pac-Man. So with yellow DK yarn and a 3.5mm hook, let's begin. We're going to start with a slip knot onto hook and then we can chain two. One and two. And into the second chain from hook, so we're going to skip this first chain into the second chain. I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to do six single crochets all into this chain. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For the next row I'm going to increase to 12 stitches. So I'm going to do two single crochets into each of these stitches. So into the first stitch I'm going to single crochet one and two. Into the second stitch increase again for three and four. Into the third stitch I'm going to single crochet for five and six. Into the fourth stitch, single crochet seven and eight. Into the fifth, we're going to single crochet for nine and ten. And into the last stitch of this round, which will be a bit tight, so you might want to loosen it off first, we're going to do our final increase for stitches number eleven and twelve. Then chain one and turn our work. For the next row we're going to increase to 18 stitches. To do this I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet into the first stitch for one and increase in the next stitch for two and three. Single crochet for stitch number four and then increase in the next stitch for five and six. Single crochet for stitch number seven, increase in the next stitch for eight and nine. Single crochet in the next stitch for number ten and increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve. Single crochet for number thirteen, increase in the next stitch for fourteen and fifteen. Then single crochet for number sixteen and increase in the last stitch for stitches number 17 and 18. Then chain one and turn our work. For our next round I'm going to increase from these 18 stitches to 24. To do that I'm going to single crochet into two stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet for one and two and then increase in the next for three and four single crochet five and six increase in the next stitch for seven and eight single crochet nine and ten increase in the next stitch for eleven eleven and twelve single crochet thirteen and fourteen increase in the next stitch for 15 and 16, single crochet 17 and 18, increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20, single crochet 21, 22 and increase in the last stitch for 23 and 24. Chain one and turn our work. We're now going to increase from 24 stitches to 30. To do that I'm going to single crochet into three stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet one, 
two and three and increase on the next stitch for stitch number four and five single crochet six seven and eight increase in the next stitch for nine and ten single crochet eleven twelve and thirteen increase in the next stitch for fourteen and fifteen single crochet sixteen seventeen and eighteen increase in the next stitch for nineteen and twenty single crochet twenty one twenty two twenty three increase in the next stitch for twenty four and twenty five single crochet twenty six twenty seven and twenty eight an increase in the last stitch of this round for 29 and 30. Chain one and turn our work. For the next row we're going to increase from 30 stitches to 36. To do this I'm going to single crochet into four stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So let's single crochet for one, two, three and four and increase in the next stitch for five and six. Single crochet, seven, eight, nine and ten. Increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve. Single crochet, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen and sixteen. Increase the next stitch for 17 and 18. Single crochet, 19, 20, 21, 22. Increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24. Single crochet, 25, 26, 27, 28. Increase in the next stitch for 29 and 30. Single crochet, 31, 32, 33, 34 and in the last stitch of this round we're going to increase for 35 and 36. Then we're going to chain one and turn our work. For the next row we're now going to increase to 42 stitches from 36. To do this I'm going to single crochet into 5 stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So I'm going to single crochet for one, two, three, four, five and then increase in the next stitch for six and seven. Single crochet for stitch number eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12 then increase in the next stitch for stitches number 13 and 14. Single crochet 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and increase in the next stitch for 20 and 21. Single crochet 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26. Increase in the next stitch for stitches number 27 and 28. Single crochet 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, just undo this knot, 33 and increase in the next stitch for 34 and 35. Single crochet 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40 and into the last stitch of this round we're going to increase for stitches number 41 and 42. Chain one and turn our work. So we're now on to our last increase round and we're going to increase from 42 stitches to 48. So to do that I'm going to single crochet into six stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet for one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. And into the next stitch, we're going to increase for seven and eight. Single crochet, nine, 10, 11, 11 again, 12, 13, 14, increase in the next stitch for 15 and 16, single crochet 17, 18, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24, single crochet 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. Increase in the next stitch for 31 and 32. Single crochet 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 and increase in the next stitch for 39 and 40. Then single crochet 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 and increase in the last stitch for 47 and 48. Chain one and turn our work. So that is the last of our increases and now we're going to single crochet back and forth around these 48 stitches for let me see for eight rows so we're going to single crochet across 48 stitches chain one and turn so that will count as one row then we're going to single crochet back across 48 stitches chain one and turn and that will class as two and we're going to keep doing that until we have eight rows from this point so 48 stitches and after the eight rows you should have something that looks like this so now we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to start doing some decreases so if you remember we have 48 stitches and the first thing we want to do is decrease to 42 to do that I'm going to single crochet into six stitches and then I'm going to single crochet two stitches together I'm going to do that six times so I'm going to single crochet for one two, three, four, five and six and now I'm going to single crochet the next two stitches together and to do that I'm going to insert my hook under the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, insert my hook under the second stitch, yarn over and pull through, so there are three loops on my hook, then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three of these loops and that is how I'm going to do all my decreases. So I've just single crocheted two stitches together for stitch number seven. Single crochet for eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and thirteen. And now single crochet two stitches together for stitch number fourteen. Single crochet fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19 and 20. Decrease for stitch number 21. Single crochet 20 to 23, 24, 25, 26 and 27. Decrease for 28. Single crochet 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, decrease for number 35, single crochet for 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40, 41 and finish this row with another decrease for stitch number 42, chain 1 and turn our work. So for the next row we're going to decrease from 42 to 36 stitches. To do that I'm going to single crochet into 5 stitches and then single crochet 2 stitches together 6 times. So single crochet for 1, 2, 3, 
four and five then decrease for stitch number six single crochet seven eight nine ten eleven and decrease for stitch number twelve get some more yarn single crochet 13 14 15 16 and 17 decrease for stitch number 18 single crochet 19 20 21 22 23 decrease for number 24 single crochet 25 26 27 28 28 again 29 and decrease for number 30 then single crochet 31 32 33 34 35 and decrease with the last two stitches for stitch number 36 chain one and turn our work so now we have 36 stitches and we're going to decrease on the next row to 30 to do that I'm going to single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times so single crochet one two three and four decrease for stitch number five single crochet six seven eight and nine decrease for stitch number ten single crochet eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen decrease for number fifteen single crochet sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen decrease for number 20 single crochet 21 22 23 24 decrease for number 25 and let's single crochet for 26 27 28 29 and decrease for 30 chain one and turn our work so for our next row we're going to decrease from 30 stitches to 24 to do that I'm going to single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times so we're going to single crochet for one two and three now decrease for number four single crochet five six and seven decrease for eight single crochet nine ten and eleven decrease for twelve single crochet thirteen fourteen and fifteen decrease for sixteen single crochet seventeen 18, 19, decrease for 20, single crochet 21, 22 and 23 and decrease for 24. Chain one and turn, straight on to another decrease so we're going to decrease from 24 stitches to 18. To do that we're going to single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So single crochet for one and two, decrease for three. Single crochet four and five, decrease for six. Single crochet seven and eight, decrease for nine. Single crochet 10, 11, decrease for 12. Single crochet 13 and 14, 
decrease for 15, single crochet 16, 17 and decrease for 18. Chain 1 and turn. For the next row we're going to decrease from 18 stitches to 12. To do that I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So single crochet one, decrease for two. Single crochet three, decrease for four. Single crochet five, decrease for six. Single crochet seven, decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, decrease for 10, single crochet 11, decrease for 12. Chain one and turn. And now our last round or row of decreases, we're going to decrease from 12 stitches to six. So I'm going to single crochet two stitches together six times. So single crochet two together for one, and two together for two. Two together for three, two together for four, two together for five, and lastly two together for six. So we have six stitches remaining. So if I just take my hook out for a moment, this is what we have. So we have the side that we started from, and you can see there's a nice neat triangle but on the side that we're finishing from, it's not so neat because we have the six remaining stitches. So what we want to do now is if we insert our hook back into Pac-Man, I want to count six stitches across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it was the first stitch of the last round and I'm going to do a slip stitch to join that area together. And now what I'm going to do is single crochet around the entire opening of Pac-Man's mouth. So can you see him coming along? So what we'll eventually do is stuff him with our polyfill and we'll create a mouth area for him. But for now we want to neaten up all these edges here and to do that we're going to single crochet around the entire opening. And there are no stitches here, there are no stitches as guides. So we're just going to insert our hook into evenly spaced intervals, into gaps and create stitches. So we've just done a slip stitch to join that area together. I'm now going to chain one and now going to single crochet around the entire opening of his mouth. And when we are back to the beginning I'm going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch that we did but I'm not going to fasten off because we're going to use this yarn that's attached to attach the mouth to them later. So there's no point cutting this off yet because we're going to need it again. So I'm just going to place this part of Pac-Man to the side and we'll come back to them in a little bit. Now onto his mouth. So for this I'm going to be using black DK yarn and I'm still using my 3.5mm hook. So let's start with a slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain 5. One, two, three, four and five. And then I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. So we're going to miss the first chain and into the second chain I'm going to do a single crochet. Then I'm going to single crochet into each of the next three chains. So one, two and three. Now I can chain one and turn. So we currently have four single crochets. For the next row, we're going to increase to six, and we're going to do this by single crocheting two into the first stitch. So into the first stitch of this row, I'm going to do two single crochets, one and two into that first stitch. Then I'm going to single crochet one into the next two stitches, so one and two. And into the last stitch of this round, I'm going to do another two single crochets, one and two. So we now have six single crochets. Chain one and turn our work. 
For the next row, we're going to increase to eight. So we want to increase to eight stitches. Again, we're going to do two single crochets into that first stitch. One and two into that very first stitch of this row. Now I'm going to single crochet across four. One, two, three and four. And into the last stitch of this row, I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. Chain one and turn. So we now have eight single crochets. And for this next row, we're going to increase to 10. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do two single crochets into that first stitch. One and two. Now I'm going to single crochet across six stitches. One, two, three, four, five and six and into the last stitch of this round two single crochets one and two chain one and turn so we now have ten single crochets and I'm going to single crochet back and forth across these ten stitches for eight rows so eight rows of single crochet and I'll meet you back here when I'm done After your eight rows of single crochet, we're going to chain one and turn. And now we're going to decrease from 10 stitches to eight. So we're going to single crochet the first two stitches of the next row together. So single crochet the two stitches together. Now we're going to single crochet across six stitches. One, two, three, four, five and six and then single crochet the last two stitches together. Chain one and turn. So we now have eight stitches and we're going to decrease these to six. So we're going to begin with another single crochet two together. Now we're going to single crochet across four stitches. One, two, three and four. And then single crochet the last two stitches together chain one and turn. So we have six stitches and for the next row we're going to take them down to four stitches. So to do that we're going to single crochet the first two stitches together. Now single crochet across two stitches, one and two, and then single crochet the last two stitches together. And then chain one and to complete this part of Pac-Man's mouth, we're going to single crochet around the entire perimeter of the work. So like we did with his mouth on the yellow part, there aren't exact stitches here, but we're going to single crochet into random gaps around the entire piece to make the edge neater. When I've single crocheted around the entire piece, I'm going to slip stitch to join, chain one and fasten off. So we can cut this yarn tail. And now I can attach them to the inside of Pac-Man's mouth. So for this next part, we're gonna need a couple of clip markers. And the idea is we are going to attach this black part of the mouth into the opening. And then just before we finish completely sealing Pac-Man, we're gonna stuff him. So to get this placement right, with, let's call, I don't know, with the inside of his mouth, I'm gonna try and give it a name then. We're going to fold it in half and then we're going to hold the corner piece into the corner of his mouth and I'm going to use a clip marker or a stitch marker to hold that into place and then we're going to do the same thing with the opposite side and the opposite side still attached to our ball of yarn if you remember because we never cut it off so I'm going to attach the two side pieces first and then with the top and bottom I'm going to clip them into place also and this is to ensure that I'm staying in the same place in the right place when I'm single crocheting these two pieces together. So now our prep work is ready. Um, I'm going to reinsert my hook into the yellow yarn tie loop and what we are going to do is we are going to single crochet through a stitch on the yellow and a stitch on the black at the same time to join them. 
So if I can bring you in, I'm going to chain one with my yellow work and I'm going to take my hook underneath a stitch of yellow and then an outside stitch of black. Yarn over, pull through, so there are two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both of these loops. So I completed a single crochet by going through both end loops of both pieces. And I'm going to do this all the way around to join these two pieces together and if I need to, at some time, some corners, to give more leverage to turn, I will do two stitches into one stitch. And as I'm getting towards the top of this, I'm going to take out this marker so that it's not in the way. And on this bend here at the top of his mouth, you can see that there is, it's not straight, it's bent. So every now and then I'm doing two single crochets into one stitch and that will just give the room for the work to turn. And I'm now coming towards the very end of his mouth. So before I close this last little bit of stretch, I'm going to pull my loop up. I can remove this pin because we only have a little bit left. And using this opening, I'm going to add his filling. So hopefully you can see them coming together. I don't want to overstuff them because I don't want to change the shape of them into a circle. But when you're happy with how much stuffing is inside, we can reinsert our hook back into our loop and we can finish off this joining process. So just a couple of stitches left now. Still going through consecutive stitches on both pieces. just before I close this hole up entirely I'm just pushing some of the stuffing under the bottom lip and then I can close them up now slip stitch into the first stitch of this round to join and fasten off And then just take a minute or so to mould all this stuffing into the places that you want it. And with this yarn tail we can just weave it in. There we go. So let's do his eye next. For his eyes you're going to make two. So with black DK yarn I'm going to start with a slip knot onto my hook and I'm going to chain two one and two. Now into the second chain from hook I'm going to do six single crochets. So six single crochets into this chain space. One, two, three, four, five and six. For the next row I'm going to increase from these six stitches to twelve. So I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch beneath. I'm not turning my work now, I'm working in the round. So continuing and straight into that first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. Three and four into the next stitch. Five and six into the next. Seven and eight into the next and 10 into the next and 11 and 12 into the last stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the next stitch to join, chain one and fasten off, leave a bit of a tail to sew this onto his head and then if we bring Pac-Man back in 
and then with the initial yarn tail I'm going to thread that onto my needle first and I'm going to pop that straight through my work so that's going to be the anchor that keeps them in place and then with the yarn tail from the side I'm going to pop that onto my embroidery hook or embroidery needle and now I'm going to sew his eye into place so you can use whatever method you want but I'm just going to go around the eye sewing each stitch down then when I'm finished with the black I can weave this tail in so I'm going to weave it out of his mouth I can trim them yarn tails and now with a bit of yellow yarn I'm going to cut a length pop this onto my needle and we just want to, sh to sew, hand sew a small triangle onto the side of his eye like Pac-Man has so it, just to give him his little shine so the first thing I like to do is to draw the two outlines and then I will hand sew and fill in the centre so that's the, li the little dash you want at the side of his eye and I'm just going to fill it in And when you're happy you can weave in these yarn tails and trim them off and your Pac-Man is complete. So now onto the ghosts and you can make these in any colour that you want. I'm going to make my first one with green so I'm going to begin with a slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain two. So one and two. Into the second chain from hook I'm going to do six single crochets. One. two, three, four, five and six. For the second round I'm going to increase from these six stitches to twelve and to do that I'm going to do two single crochets into each of these stitches. So again like Pac-Man's eye I'm not going to be turning anymore I'm just going to be t working in the round. So increase to 12, two stitches into every stitch beneath. One and two into the first. Three and four into the second. Five and six into the third. Seven and eight into the fourth. 9 and 10 into the 5th, 11 and 12 into the 6th. For our next row we're going to increase from 12 stitches to 18. To do that I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So I'm going to single crochet for one, increase in the next stitch for two and three. Single crochet four, and increase in the next stitch for five and six. Single crochet seven, increase in the next stitch for eight and nine. Single crochet ten, increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve. Single crochet thirteen, and increase in the next stitch for fourteen and fifteen. Then single crochet sixteen, and increase in the last stitch for 17 and 18. For the next row we're going to increase from 18 stitches to 24. To do that I'm going to single crochet into two stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet for one and two, increase in the next stitch for three and four. Single crochet five and six, Increase in the next stitch for seven and eight. Single crochet nine and ten. Increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve. Single crochet 
13 and 14 increase in the next stitch for 15 and 16 single crochet 17 and 18 increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20 then single crochet 21 22 and increase in the next stitch for 23 and 24 so for our next round we are going to increase from 24 stitches to 30 and to do that we're going to single crochet into three stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times so single crochet one two and three increase in the next stitch for four and five single crochet six seven and eight increase in the next stitch for nine and ten single crochet 11 12 13 increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15 single crochet 16 17 and 18 increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20 single crochet 21 22 23 increase in the next stitch for 24 and 25 then single crochet 26 27 28 and increase in the last stitch for 29 and 30 so we're now on to the last increase round and we're going to increase from 30 stitches to 36 to do that I'm going to single crochet into four stitches and then do two single crochets into the next stitch six times so single crochet one, two, three and four, increase in the next stitch for five and six, single crochet seven, eight, nine and ten, increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve, single crochet thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and 16 increase in the next stitch for 17 and 18 single crochet 19 20 21 22 increase in the next stitch for 23 24 single crochet 25 26 27 28 increase in the next stitch for 29 and 30 then single crochet 31, 32, 33, 34 and increase in the last stitch for 35 and 36. And now we're going to single crochet around these 36 stitches for 10 rows and I'll meet you back when I'm done. There we go. So that is my 10 rounds of single crochet complete for the ghost. We're now going to start doing some decreases and we currently have 36 stitches and we want to decrease to 30 so we're going to single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together we're going to do that six times but for this first decrease round we are not going to be going under both legs of the stitches beneath we're only be going to be going under the back loop only so obviously every stitch has a front and back loop this is the front this is the back we're only going to be going under the back loop to complete this round. So we're decreasing to 30 stitches by in the back loop only, we're going to single crochet four and then single crochet two stitches together. So in the back loop only, single crochet one, two, three and four. And now we're going to decrease for stitch number five. single crochet in the back loop six seven eight and nine now decrease for ten single crochet eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen decrease for fifteen single crochet 16 17 
18 and 19 decrease for 20 single crochet 21 22 23 24 get some more yarn decrease for 25 single crochet 26 27 28 29 decrease for 30 so that entire round was done in the back loops for our next round we're going to decrease from 30 stitches to 24 to do that we're going to single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times and from now on we're going to go back to going into the two loops or the two legs of each stitch so back to normal single crocheting so single crochet one two and three decrease for four single crochet five six and seven decrease for eight single crochet nine ten and eleven decrease for twelve single crochet thirteen fourteen and fifteen decrease for sixteen single crochet seventeen eighteen 19 decrease for 20 single crochet 21 22 23 and decrease for 24 <coughs> for the next round we're going to decrease to 18 stitches to do that we're going to single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times so single crochet one and two decrease for three single crochet four and five decrease for six single crochet seven eight decrease for nine single crochet ten eleven decrease for twelve single crochet 13, 14, decrease for 15, single crochet 16 and 17, decrease for 18 and I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm just going to add some polyfill now before this hole gets too small. And then we can insert our hook again and now our last round of decreasing we're going to decrease from 18 stitches to 12 and to do that I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together six times so single crochet one decrease for two single crochet three decrease for four single crochet five decrease for six single crochet seven decrease for eight single crochet nine decrease for ten single crochet eleven and decrease for twelve so I'm going to slip stitch to join chain one and fasten off going to leave a long tail so that I can sew this gap closed in a moment so if you need to you can now add a little bit more stuff in, but you don't want to overstuff him because this is the bottom and you don't want it to be pushed out as if it was round it should be flat so about that amount of stuff in so the bottom lays flat then with the yarn tail I'm going to attach it to my embroidery needle and to close this hole I'm going to pick up the front loop only of the remaining 12 stitches so I'm going to go around and pick up all 12 front loops of these remaining stitches make sure to pick them up in the right order
and when you've picked them all up pull tight to close that hole and then weave this tail in. Now to make the bottom frill of the ghost so if you notice the row that we did in the back loop only has meant that the front loops have been left so the front loops are still there for us to single crochet into. So that's the reason that we only did the decreases in the back loops because I wanted to leave these front loops exposed so that we could do some extra crochet into them. So in the front loops we have 36. We have 36 front loops exposed all the way around. So with my yarn I've done a slip knot onto my hook and I want to insert my hook into any of these loops, the front loops that were left. I'm going to yarn over and pull through a loop so there are two loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and pull through both of these loops. So I have attached the green yarn into one of these front loop stitches whilst doing a single crochet. And what I want to do now is to do two single crochets into every single one of these front loop stitches. So we have 36 stitches. At the end of this round we'll have 72 single crochets all into these front loops. So I've already done one single crochet into the first stitch so we need to do another one for two. Now I'm going to continue all the way around doing two single crochets into every front loop stitch. And at the end of this round you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch of this round to join and fasten off and weave in these yarn tails. Now we need to give these ghosts some eyes. So to make the eyes I'm going to be using a three millimeter needle because I want them to be the stitches to be a little bit tighter. So we're going to begin with black yarn and remember you're going to make two eyes for each of the little ghosts. I'm going to start with a slip knot, onto hook and then chain two. One and two. And into the second chain from hook I'm going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch of this round to join. and fasten off. Onto this black we are now going to add some white and with the white yarn we're going to increase all these stitch counts so we've got six stitches we're going to increase it to 12 by doing two stitches into every stitch beneath. But first we need to join our yarn so I'm going to slip knot onto hook I'm going to insert my hook into any of the stitches on the pupil part of the eye yarn over and pull through a loop so there are two loops on my hook yarn over and pull through both of these loops so I've done my first single crochet whilst attaching the white colour so now I need to do two single crochets into every stitch around into this first stitch I've already done one so I need to do a second so that was stitch one and two now into the next stitch I'm going to do stitch three and four then into the next stitch five and six into the next seven and eight into the next nine and ten and then into the next eleven and twelve now to finish this eye we want to do a couple more stitches at this end instead of this end just so the eye is more oval than round so to add a couple more stitches up at here, I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then do two single crochets into the next stitch and I'm going to do that three times. So I'm going to single crochet into the first stitch and I'm going to do two single crochets into the next stitch. I'm going to do that again twice more. Single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into the following and I'm going to do that one more time so single crochet into one stitch and do an increase in the following stitch and it's just going to give the, the eye more weight at one end than the other and I'm going to slip stitch to join and fasten off leaving a tail to sew this eye into place with and 
and if I turn my work over I'm going to tie a knot with all these ends to keep them securely in the back then I can cut the, the tail of these off not too bothered about what it looks like in the back because we're not going to see it and then if I bring in my ghost who already has one eye I am going to pop his second eye into place with some pins making sure the heavier part of the eye is at the top and then with my embroidery needle and the yarn tail I'm going to sew his eye into place and then after you've weaved in the yarn tails trim and there you have our completed Pac-Man and his ghosts so you're going to have to make a couple of these in different colours but I've just done one for this video to show you how to make it and I really don't know any retro gamer who wouldn't like to receive these as a gift so I hope you liked this tutorial if you did and you haven't already click that subscribe button or at the very least give me a thumbs up it's free and it really helps me out and other than that, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.